Why are you so quiet? I got two more rejections from that matchmaker side I signed up for. They are losers. Well, they think I'm the loser. It's always the same thing. Dear Mike, I'm looking for someone a little more career-oriented. Well, that's better than what happened to me. From the publisher? Yeah. Rejection, I take it? Yeah. They say my female lead isn't strong enough. She doesn't authentically reflect the depth of real-world street experience a reader would expect from this kind of character. You gotta get out of here a little bit more. Sorry, you missed last call. Are you all right? What are you doing? Well, I think he needs help, Mike. <laughs> Come on, Becky. I'm leaving in 10 minutes. You're cleaning up the puke. Why don't you come with me? Come back here. Come down. Just lay down. You'll be all right. By yourself? Hmm. Tap once for yes, twice for no. I thought you people were supposed to be chatty. You don't mind, do you? Who was that guy? Who was that guy? Where's my phone? Do you have a phone? Oh. There's two of them. Well, I don't suppose your name's Becky. You don't look like it, Becky. chase you around the tree for the rest of the night? <laughs> you know, the hilarious thing is, you could have been out of here. Morgan's gun is sitting right back there. You could have been the accidental hero. You'd been in the papers instead of me sticking you a couple of times and you bleed out in this honky tonk. But guess what? You're not going anywhere because you didn't pick up the gun. You don't have it. They never pick up the gun. 
Why do they never pick up the gun? I don't know why they don't pick up the gun. I did. To Miss Foster, care of McPherson Films, I'm writing this letter to you from a hospital of all places. I've been too inspired to wait until I got home to finish my treatment for a screenplay, working title, Last Call. I'm including the treatment with this letter. It's the story of a writer who discovers profound inner strength over the course of a terrifying episode. I believe you will find it compelling, and I hope you will want to see it make it to the big screen as much as I do. I look forward to talking with you. Becky. Dear Ms. Frank, it was a pleasure to read your treatment, and I don't want to delay any further in telling you we want to produce your screenplay. A contract is attached, and we have distribution tentatively scheduled for early fall of next year. You are a true talent and have moving insight into the themes of inner strength and overcoming great odds. I hope this helps you get well soon. 